Bo Nix. Broncos inch closer to playoff contention after outlasting Brown. The last time the Denver Broncos made the playoffs was the end of the 2015 season. That was Peyton Manning's last season and the last time the Broncos had a viable quarterback. Bo Nix is helping end both of those droughts. Nix wasn't perfect on Monday night, but he was pretty good. For a national audience who might not have seen much of Nix this season, it might have been a revelation. The selection of Nix at 12th overall in the NFL draft was criticized by some, but the Broncos have to feel great about it. Nix led a go-ahead drive in the fourth quarter after a feisty Cleveland Browns team took a fourth-quarter lead, and the Broncos improved to 8-5 with a 41-32 win after the defense finally got a stop in the final two minutes. After giving up more than 500 yards, Jaquan McMillian picked off Jemise Winston on a leaping interception, got up, and returned at 46 yards for a game-sealing score. Winston had 497 passing yards, 235 of which went to former Broncos receiver Jerry Judy, the most receiving yards in NFL history for a player against his former team, by ESPN. But Winston's two pick sixes were the difference in the game. Knicks threw a couple interceptions, but also had 294 yards and a touchdown and his team got a big win. The Broncos haven't clinched a playoff spot, but it might be coming soon. Even bigger than that, the future looks bright because Denver has finally figured out its quarterback problem. Denver, Colorado, December 2. Bo Nix hash 10 of the Denver Broncos celebrates after throwing a 93-yard touchdown pass to Marvin Mims, Jr. hash 19 against the Cleveland Browns during the third quarter in the game at Empower Field at Mile High on December 2, 2024 in Denver, Colorado. Photo by Justin Edmonds slash Getty Images. Rookie quarterback Bo Nix has his Denver Broncos on the cusp of a playoff berth after Monday night's win over the Cleveland Browns. Photo by Justin Edmonds slash Getty Images. Big plays for both teams. Browns versus Broncos wasn't the type of Monday night matchup that was going to have everyone buzzing all afternoon. It turned out to be an entertaining game. The Browns, 3-9, haven't been able to get much going in the running game lately, so they had Winston air it out. He was well over 300 yards during the third quarter, with former Broncos receiver Jerry Judy passing 200 yards early in the fourth quarter. There was a sequence in which Marvin Mims Jr. got past the Browns' secondary deep down the middle, and Knicks hit him with a great pass for a 93-yard touchdown. Then, on the next defensive play, Judy beat the Broncos' secondary for a 70-yard score. Knicks, Mims. 93 yards to the crib. Hash Clevston on ESPN. Stream on hash NFL plus PIC dot Twitter dot com slash Shvikiot. NFL at NFL. December 3rd, 2024. Winston made big plays, but he's always a threat to give some back. He did so in the second quarter, telegraphing a short pass that Broncos outside linebacker Nick Bonito stepped in front of for an interception and returned at 71 yards for a touchdown. The Broncos were scoring easily, but the Browns wouldn't go away easily even if their playoff hopes realistically ended a few weeks ago. Browns take fourth quarter lead. Knicks made a mistake early in the fourth quarter. He threw deep, but Mims was well covered, and Browns cornerback Denzel Ward made a nice catch downfield for an interception. The Broncos led 31-25, but the door was open for the Browns to take back the lead. Judy made a couple more big plays, including a 17-yard catch on third and 10. With 8.57 left, Winston hit Nick Chubb for a touchdown, and the Browns led 32-31. Winston went over 400 yards on that drive, and it was his fourth touchdown pass.